I do to exercise my legs. Just really quick before I get into it, I want to tell you guys a few disclaimers. I didn't make up these exercises, I just kind of found them random places. I'm also definitely not in any way, shape, or form a professional. And finally, I just kind of like to throw out there, I don't think I have like really great legs. I feel like everybody, or at least most people, if you're like Miranda Kerr, then you don't have this problem. But I feel like everybody kind of has a problem area, and for me, my problem area is definitely my legs. This is just kind of like what I've been doing to make progress. Definitely not done yet, but I thought I'd show you guys what I've been doing. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like exercise videos and would like to see more of them. And I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Also, just want to say, in most of the clips, I'm not wearing any makeup because I normally don't ever wear makeup to the gym unless it's like leftover makeup from the day. Let's just accept it for what it is. Thumbs up for keeping it real. Alright, I hope you guys like this video. So I thought I'd start off by showing you something I normally wear to the gym. Normally I just wear a comfy t-shirt and I keep my hair back in a bun so it's out of my face when I'm working out. This is one of my favorite hoodies to wear to the gym, especially when it's cold, and those are my Nike fly knits. I also thought I'd show you some of my favorite songs I listen to when I work out, so check for those in the description box. So most of my cardio takes place at the gym. I normally start with the elliptical and I do that for about 30, sometimes 45 minutes. I normally work at a resistance and it's a great way to tone your legs and do cardio at the same time. Now if you're going for really lean legs and less tone, I would definitely recommend running for your cardio. I think that's the best way to just have really trim legs. So the last thing I do is the Stairmaster. This is a great way to tone your legs and your butt. I recommend this if you're in a time crunch because it's a great workout in a small amount of time. So I'm going to focus the exercises on stuff you can do at home because I know not everybody has a gym membership. The first one I'm showing you are called resistance band lifts. I got these resistance bands. Sorry, that's really hard to say. <laughs> I got them at Dick's Sporting Goods. They're about $20. I put them around my ankles and then lift my legs out to the side. I normally do about three sets of 15 reps. It's a great way to work your quads. I also lift them forward. Another great way to work your quads, and then I lift backwards as well, and that's a great way to work your butt. I definitely think these are worth looking at. Um, like I said, they weren't too expensive, and I think they're a great way to work your legs and your butt, so definitely worth the investment. So moving on, the next thing I do are side lunges. These are a great way to work your inner thigh. Um, like most of the exercises I'm going to be showing you, I do about three sets of 15 reps. So another variation of the lunge is to do a chair lunge. I don't know why these just work my legs so much more than regular lunges. Again, three sets of 15. I do them on each leg. Now like most girls, I've looked up how to work the inner thigh. The best thing I've found is this exercise. You're going to cross one leg over and lift your other leg. I do them with a leg weight just to have a little bit of extra resistance. Finally, I do calf raises and toe raises. You just want to find a ledge nearby so you can move your heels up just like so. And then you want to switch sides and lift your toes just so you're working both sides of the leg. All right, and that's it. If you guys have any specific questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you later. Bye.